Hello friends, in this video, from linguistic point of view, I am going to deal a very important topic and the name of that topic is uh, Founds Themes. So before I start my topic, I request you to subscribe my channel so that you may get notification relating to various videos concerning literature, linguistics, grammar and spoken English from time to time. So let's go to our topic and the name of the topic is uh, Founds Theme. So that's a very important topic from linguistic points of view. Founds theme. Now what are founds theme? Founds theme means you know. What is the meaning of found? Found means sound. And what is the meaning of themes? Themed means meaning. So this word consists of two words. Found and themes. Found means sound. Themes means meaning. Then what is the meaning of founds theme? Founds theme means sounds which suggest meaning or which give meaning. So it's a very easy. So what's the meaning of a, a founds theme? Founds theme means sounds which give or suggest meanings. In English and in phonetics, there are so many sounds which tells us the meaning of that word that are totally connected to the meaning of words. So let's go. I'm going to give you some example in order to clear that what is the forms theme means sounds which give meaning or suggest meaning. Just take one example I'm going to deal with. In English, in phonetics, there's a long E and a small E. I'm going to write down the symbol of long E. That's a long E. If I write, if I write in Hindi, then there's a small e. So in English, in phonetics, small e and long e, they both suggest smallness. They both suggest a smallness. I want to give you some example of containing so many words. For example, shrink. Huh? Our shirt, huh? it, it, it shrinks. So, it becomes small. Another word is hint. Hint is always small. Similarly, wink. Another word that is containing, that is blink. So in this way, there are so many words in English where the sound, the long e and small e, they both convey smallness. So I have given you just for example in this way, you can concentrate on so many words containing these sounds and they have the meaning smallness. So shrink, hint, wink and blink. So come to the next example I want to give you. I have dealt with only two sounds. That's the small e and the long e. Another sound in English is a. Uh. For example, this is the symbol a. Uh. So this sound, this symbol and in English U in latter we get U, but in pronunciation, but in sound we get U. Uh. So this U, this U, uh, actually they suggest undesirable things. Undesirable thing they suggest. I want to give you example in order to clear that. So. For example, slum. U is there, sound of O is there. So slum suggests undesirable things. <coughs> Sorry. Another thing, one is slum. Next is numb. Numb again, there's a B is silent, numb. Again, O uh, is suggesting undesirable thing. Similarly, dumb. Dumb again suggests undesirable thing. thing. Similarly, grudge. You know, to complain. Again, a uh, sound. It suggests undesirable thing. So in this way, there are so many words in English where there is a sound of a uh, and the sound of a, uh, it suggests undesirable thing. Similarly, muddle and there are so many other words also. You can find out the meaning of these words there. Come to the third one. Now the third one is that in many words, 
देर इज अ साउंड ऑफ अ है ना अ कम्स फ्रॉम ई आर एट द एंड ऑफ वर्ड्स है ना एट द एंड ऑफ इफ इफ फ्रॉम द कॉम्बिनेशन ई आर वी गेट शुअ एट द एंड ऑफ वर्ड्स नॉट एट द बिगिनिंग इन द मिडल आई एम टॉकिंग नॉट एट द एंड ऑफ द वर्ड्स एट द एंड ऑफ द वर्ड्स if there is er and the er gives the sound of shwa uh, then there is a le and it gives the sound of a uh. again at the end of the word at the end of the word if er that gives the sound of a uh, le that gives the sound of a uh, at the end of the words if these two sounds are given so these two sounds both these two sounds they suggest repetition they suggest repetition i want to give first of all i want to give you the example of the sound ending with a uh, that's you must have heard that word there's a repetition and that is a stammer stammer another word is mama Again, there is a repetition. Chatter, patter. So in this way, there are so many words which end with a uh, a uh, sound. You know, if any word ends with a a uh, sound, a uh, we call it a. Uh, so that suggests repetition. Similarly, if any word ends with a uh, a uh, uh, sound. and again it suggests repetition just i want to give you for example in order to clear that concept also and what is that one for example drizzle light rain continuously drizzle another word is dribble when saliva keeps on coming similarly babble to talk continuously in a confusing manner and then <coughs> so and that is that is giggle giggle is there no that's giggle so that's that's another example of the repetition so this is the third word i want to uh, uh, deal with you some more uh, fun things i have discussed with you three fun things or fourth fun things if any words ends with these three voiceless sounds there are nine voiceless sounds in phonetics i'm talking about three voiceless sound if any word ends with the sound p t and k in english if any words ends with the sound p t k so these three voiceless sounds they indicates sudden stoppage of movement they convey the meaning of sudden stoppage of a movement just i want to give you example for example for example stop so the work is going on and is uh, the word is ending with p sound so the p sound suggest abrupt stoppage another is hit again there is a sudden stop is hit another word is slap when we slap somebody so then there is a stop is there so it's a slap similarly flick f l i c k so in this way all are ending with voiceless these three voiceless sounds so if any english words end with these three voiceless sounds so so many of those words they suggest sudden stoppage of a movement come to the fourth font themes i want to this uh, fifth font theme sorry i want to discuss with you for i have already discussed with you come to the fifth font theme and the fifth font theme is uh, that sound is the s and p or so s and p not s and p s and p if the sound s and p they come together from the combination sp so it suggests point it gives the meaning of point just i want to give you example 
For example, spot. Again, suggesting point. Another is a spark. Okay. Another is spill. Another is spade. So you know the meaning of these words. And here, the combination sp or the sound so and per they are suggesting point <coughs> come to the sixth one i want to discuss with the sixth one and the sixth one is and that is g and l from the combination gl so g and l they suggest light they suggest light they give the meaning of light for example glow glare glare mean bright light gleam so these are three words it's glow glare gleam here the combination g l g l so they are coming and they are suggesting they are giving the meaning of light come to the next one next sound is p and l from the combination follow at the beginning of the word you must remember that the the, the serpo girl follow these three at the beginning of the words at the beginning of the word not at the ending i'm talking about at the beginning e r o l e o at the end of the words you know? Voiceless sounds particle at the end of the words. So that the sound, the combination, serpo, follow, and girl at the beginning of the word. Now, if you find follow sound at the beginning of any word, it suggests moving light. It suggests moving light. Just I want to give you example and it will be clear for example flash for example flash that's another word is a flame another word is a flail so in this way in english there are several sounds which convey meaning so i think the concept of phone sim must be cleared in my in your mind so I have dealt with some of the important sounds which convey meaning. If you like my video, share my video and like it so that other may be benefited.